a brand new BMW X3. It'll be used for training, education and skills development. Pupils will learn about engineering, mechanics and automotive components. I've been looking forward to invent, innovating an engine that is more eco-friendly. So I'm looking forward to studying towards my master's or my PhD so that I can make my dream come true. I'm interested in motion actually. I've always wanted to know how does the car move and what makes it to move. The education department says a different learning approach is necessary to advance our economy. Gone are the days where our schools must provide one-dimensional teaching. We need a multi-dimensional teaching. Gone are the days where our children must chase one thing only called metric. We need them to be multi-certificated so that they can survive even outside the schooling environment. Pupils will hone their engineering skills and modify this car. It's hoped they'll become part of the automotive industry that contributes nearly 7% to GDP. The sector employs more than 110,000 people in vehicle and component manufacturing and averages annual investment of more than 12 billion rand. The great news is for these kids, they're going to get chances all around the world, whether they're going to work in a production plant in Mexico, in China. So the world is open for them going forward. So this is a great opportunity, but it starts here today. Government says it remains committed to further support investment and development of the automotive industry. It will be done in line with the National Industrial Policy Action Framework and the Industrial Policy Action Plan. John Bailey, Pretoria.